Hey guys, Vaughn here with the Vaughnster vlog and today was day 29. Like, oh my god, I did not want to do anything today at all, ever, even a little bit. Um, okay, so it's like 87 degrees in, in the end of October. Um, and it's just, we're having up to 50 mile per hour wind gusts, which is like typical Missouri, I suppose, but the 87 degrees, like we're, we got the AC unit running, like, so I'm sweating up a storm, but not just cause it's hot. I busted ass today. I took a couple of notes. So pre-workout, um, I was all like, I strive to get comfortable being uncomfortable. I want to challenge my comfort zone. Like, cause I think that's a good place to be. I love being comfortable, but I don't want to be afraid of being uncomfortable. I don't want to let not wanting to get sweaty stop me from living my life. Like I need to get okay with like, oh my God, oh, ah, oh sweat. So <laughs> like, this is good practice for that, I suppose. I knew I was procrastinating doing my workout today when I was like going into the kitchen to get my drink before like going outside to do my cardio and I was like oh I should really oil mop the floor because <laughs> like, we have unsealed wood floors um, and, and I'm just like no I need to go do my workout and even Randy was like babe good and he banished me to the outside realm uh, where I did start to run out of my shade spot, but that's okay. We got it through it. Um, today was the first day of 30 minute walking in place cardio. There is a link down. I'm so itchy. Like my scalp gets so itchy when I'm sweaty, but that's fine. Cause I'm about to go shower after we vlog. <sighs> See, like we can do this. Where's my fan at? Jesus, sweaty. <laughs> I'm covered in like me and dog hair. So any bitching has commenced like um I really enjoyed being outside today the leaves I could smell the leaves you guys so like my sense of smell is for better or worse recovering because <laughs> also this morning I was like babe we both gotta brush our teeth this is bad <laughs> and he was like yeah <laughs> his, I saw his mustache hairs curling as I breathed upon him um and then also pre-workout I had written, don't try to pick your end goal, pick a goal. And so, and because I'm finding myself as I'm reaching the end of Fittober, um, very confident that we'll get through it come, you know, come what may, we're going to try our best to get through Fittober. I mean, we've only got two more days. What is that when we've got nine or 29 already in the bag? So that's, you know, mm, but what am I going to do after that? And it's like, I don't have to have my whole life planned out or my end goal of how I want my life to be, you know, 30 years from now planned out. I just need to pick a goal. And so I'm very glad to have Nom Nom November on the horizon. And then I am going to be continuing on with the limited mobility plan um, on the Train with Joan app. Um, and today was the first day that the Train with Joan app had me do... I still did my cardio first because I presumed I didn't like, I mean, did I? I mean, I did do the cardio first, but, oh, I clicked done. Um, ooh, so tomorrow is going to be cardio as well. It says cardio circuit. That's weird. So with this one, yeah, no, it wanted me to get directly into the workout and then finish up with 20 minutes of cardio. So I'm really glad I've already been increasing my cardio from the 10 minutes up to the 15, 10 minutes week one, 15 week two, 20 week three. No, I guess we started it at 15. I don't even know. <laughs> All I know is I did 30 minutes today and the app wanted me to do 20. So I feel good about being kind of ahead on that. Um, one of the movements today, okay. Um, yeah, tomorrow's just regular old cardio and abs so that's good one of the workouts today a lot of them were new or new combinations and the supersets supersets uh and i didn't have it's a movement where like you sit and your legs go woo like the abductors or adductors let me see i can click on this i can find out 
because like I find I, I've been finding ways around it. It is the seated banded hip abduction. My dyslexia gets the is it abduction? <laughs> you know, um, I don't have the band like at all. So what I did instead, hold on, I've got a pile of stuff all over my desk. Well, I don't need that up anymore. I guess. Um, I didn't have a band, so I just did hands and knees, and then did like, I call them fire hydrants, uh, where I'm basically just lifting my bent leg up like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. But I think that targeted the same, it targeted something, but I think it hit the same muscle group, or at least similar enough, I worked something out. But, uh, I was very tempted, very, very tempted to just cut that whole workout segment out of, um just cut it out entirely and I didn't and I'm so proud of myself for that also I have written it's okay to take a cry break <laughs> today demolished my butt like my glutes are screaming I did skip my work or uh skip my cool down because we're on a little bit of a time crunch and I am going to do it after recording this segment I'm gonna because I need to I desperately need to like I can already feel my butt locking up <laughs> late but that's okay um we'll get through it I'm really bad about skipping my my cool downs you guys but there's always gonna be something to improve on so we'll get there I'll keep working on it um oh I can it took me two hours to get through my workout today but I did take a sit break and hang out with Randy for a little bit and talk about like podcasts and stuff so I'll allow it <laughs> But we, we got it done. And I'm such like a shaky noodle. So like, it's so sweaty. Oh my God. It's drying and I'm like crystallizing with the sweat and the salt. <laughs> so, um, we stress ate last night. We got a pizza. Cause like I wanted to go and get fresh salad greens. Cause like I love chopped at Sam's Club, but they give me like their portions of like salad greens are massive and so even though it's only five bucks for like five romaine heads like three of them go to the chickens which you know that's still probably a pretty good deal because at least they're going to the chickens I'm gonna have to do a cost analysis and see but it's like the spinach is way too much like I want a really nice wide variety of greens but I don't want them to be wilty and I keep telling myself, well, it's too late in the season to put in my fall garden. Like, it's the end of October. I should have planted my fall garden two months ago if I wanted to be able to just cover, in, you know, with plastic and continue on. Um, you know, to extend the winter months. Uh, but it's 87 degrees. I think the way to break this, this uh, heat wave that's been going on all month. Uh, is to go ahead and try to plant some greens for the fall garden um, because that would really, that's my ideal. I love growing my own greens, but it's a very limited window, you know, in, before it gets too hot or before it gets too cold to be able to grow them. Um, but maybe I'll make that a challenge for myself over the winter to find a way to keep ourselves in salad greens because that's a lot of money to be spending on salad greens but man I love it and it's a great way to add bulk as I move into well and let me explain as I move into nom nom November where I am capping my calories at 2000 I can eat a salad with every single meal and add so much bulk and that way I don't want to like add food bulk to the meal that way I'm not feeling like Ooh, I had half of a boiled egg and a piece of fruit. Like, which I guess, is that like a normal, like, no, like a, a half egg and a grape? <laughs> like, I don't want to just, I want to feel satiated. And I don't think, I, I'm afraid of not being satiated is the thing. Um, and so I'm hoping that by planning, by having a plan in place that if I don't feel satiated, have a salad. Like, That'll be, that's, that's going to be my go-to, I think. I need to find a different salad dressing other than ranch um, because I don't want it to be 200 calories every time I have a salad because of the ranch that I put on it. Um, so I might be, if y'all have any suggestions for like vinegar-based, like vinaigrettes, 
or um, ooh, my friend Michelle had told me about doing cottage cheese with ranch in it but I don't think I made it right it was like gritty so I might need to experiment a little bit more with that I think I might not blend the cottage cheese and that way it would be like a chonky blue cheese that might be really good so yeah if you guys have salad dressing recommendations um like no sugar sa uh, salad dressing recommendations I would love to hear them because y'all I need help but I I did almost cry in my workout today also that's why I had the note that I was like it's okay to take a cry break because this was demolishing my butt trying it they 30 three sets of 30 on these like dumbbell hip thrusts and my butt's like why why are you doing this to me and I'm like just take it and it's like no nah. but that's not what my butt says but it was it was terrible it was I hated it, it was great we did such a good job getting through our workout <laughs> uh, what was it I was saying honey just a bunch of curse words yeah like he laughed at me a little bit because I was just like cussing but we got through it cussing and spitting um I'm so tired I'm gonna go have lunch but we're gonna do it we're doing great <laughs> Let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments, and I will see y'all tomorrow for day. Oh, yeah, we ate pizza last night, and then, like, I'm up to 226.6, I'm, and I stopped myself because I was like, don't you dare get all fussy, Vaughn, just because you gained a little bit of weight at the end of your thing. We told ourselves we're not putting a time constraint. Like, there was no hope, like, weight, not, weight loss was not the goal. I'm not letting myself get bummed out that I didn't, that I had lost, ooh, I'd hit that five pound margin and now I'm back up like 1.8 or like, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. The data is there to be helpful and useful for evaluating my progress. It's not what is determining my, pro like, I don't know, that's a ridiculous way of putting it. Let me... I'm gonna have to figure it out, but it's like, just because I spiked back up near the end of my thing, like, I guess I had secretly, like, subconsciously in my heart of hearts been, like, really hoping that, you know, I'd apply myself to this all month and I'd have, like, a huge, like, ah, like, I lost, like, 100 pounds in a month or, like, like something, like, very, you know, feel like winning like that was tangible and measurable and the scale is the easy go-to for that or on that for me and uh so I, I caught myself starting to get bummed out that I didn't you know that the scale kind of crept back up because it's like come on <laughs> and so it, it'll be all right it's gonna be what it is but I, I am having to be honest and 100% real with myself that well, if I, you know, didn't want to, you know, have gained more weight back, then I probably shouldn't have had some pizza in addition to our regular dinner. I only had a slice. It was a Walmart deli pizza. Um, so it's, but I recognize we stress ate last night, last night. Like, well, it is what it is. Uh, but that's like two days in a row too. So I'm just keeping an eye on myself. I'll keep my eye on you, Vaughn. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go shower and get lunch out of the fridge. And that's something. Thank you, Past Vaughn, for making dinner last night, even though we got a pizza to stress eat, because now I've got leftovers. And so lunch is in the bag, and that helps me to stay on track so much more. The salad that's in there is already rinsed and ready to just get a handful and put some dressing on it. And the chicken and the beans is ready to go. So. This is how we get through it because life's going to happen. Stress eating a pizza together is going to happen. Um, you know, these things are just life happens. But we have the plan to come back to when we, we're done with our off-road adventure and we're ready to get back on track. The plan is here. So, and I like to keep those adventures short and sweet. So, uh, we're doing good. We're going to keep on keeping on, y'all. Bye. <laughs>